Something in the 30-acre thermal thicket of thorns and thistles thumped and thundered, threatening the 3D thoughts of Matthew the Thug. Although theatrically, it was only the 13,000 thistles and thorns through the underneath of his thigh that the 30-year-old thug thought of that morning. To sit in solemn silence in a, in a dull, dark dock and pestilential... Pestil... I don't know what the word is. Okay. <laughs> Prison. With a lifelong lock, waiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block, to sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock and pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block, a dull, dark dock, a lifelong lock, a short, sharp shock, a big black block, to sit in solemn silence in a pestilential prison and wait in the sensation from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. I have no idea what the- How much wood could Chuck Woods, wood Chuck Chuck if Chuck Woods, wood Chuck could, and wood Chuck Woods? If Chuck Woods, wood Chuck could, and wood Chuck Wood, how much wood could and wood Chuck Woods, wood Chuck Chuck? Chuck Woods, wood Chuck, wood Chuck, he would, as much as he could, and Chuck as much wood as any wood Chuck would. If a woodchuck could, and a woodchuck would. Hey! Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Hey! No time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Bibby bought a bat. Bobby Bibby bought a ball. This is with his bat. Bobby bang bang the ball, bang it bumped against the wall. But so boldly Bobby banged it that he burst his rubber ball. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> bad bad luck ball. Bad luck Bobby. Bad luck ball. Now the drown his many troubles. Bobby Biddy blowing bubbles. <laughs> bam! <laughs> Is that it? It's not bam, it's boo. Out in the pasture, the nature watcher watches the catcher. While the catcher watches the pitcher, the pitches the balls. Whether the temperature's up or whether the temperature's down, the nature watcher, the catcher, and the pitchers are always around. The pitcher pitchers, the pitcher pitches, the catcher catches, and the watcher watches. So whether the temperature rises or whether the temperature falls, the nature watcher just watches the catcher who's watching the pitcher. Hey, it went dark. Who's watching the balls? <laughs> <laughs> it went dark on me. It's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was part of the text. Uh, it went dark. Are you done? Oh. <laughs> a tree toad loved a sea toad who lived up in a tree. He was a three-toed tree toad, but a two-toed toad was she. The three-toed tree toad tried to win the two-toed she toad's heart. But the three-toed tree toad loved the ground that the two-toed tree toad trod. But the three-toed tree toad tried in vain. He couldn't please her whim. From her tree-toed bower, with her two-toed power, she, she, the she toad vetoed him. Susie, Susie, working in a shoe shine shop. All day long she sits and shines, all day long, all day long she shines and sits, and sits and shines and shines and sits, and sits and shines and shines and sits. Susie Susie working in a shoe shine shop. Tommy Tommy toiling in a tailor's shop, all day long he fits and tucks, all day long he tucks and fits, and fits and tucks and tucks and fits, and fits and tucks and tucks and fits. Tommy Tommy toiling in a tailor's shop. Hey. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where's a peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Yes. Here's an. Do I need that part? No. No. Okay. Uh, if a packet hits a pocket on a socket on a port, and the bus inter is interrupted as a very last resort, and the address of the memory makes your floppy disk abort, then the socket packet pocket has air to report. If your cursor finds a menu item followed by a dash, and the double-clicking icon puts your window in the trash, and your data is corrupted because the index doesn't hash, then your situation is hopeless and your system is going to crash. You can't say this. What a shame, sir. We'll find you another game, sir. 
If the label on the cable on the tablet on your, at your house says the network is connected to the button on your mouse, but your packet wants to tunnel on, an, or on another protocol, that's repeatedly rejected by the printer down the hall. And your screen is all distorted by the side effects of, the, of GOSS, so your icons in the window are as wavy as a souse. Souse. <laughs> Then you may as well reboot and go out with a bang, because as sure as I am a poet, the sucker's going to hang. When the copy of your floppy's getting sloppy on the disk, and the micro instructions cause unnecessary risk, then you have to flash your memory and you'll want to ram your ROM. Quickly turn the computer and be sure to tell your mom.